This tutorial is going to be about how to put a, a blog feed on your homepage. Uh, I've got my homepage that I've created here and I've got my products below, but I wanted to add um, our blog feed, which is shows up here. Um, I wanted to add it to our homepage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our admin section and I am going to go to again our themes and template editor and I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a snippet that we're going to use um, to store our blog feed. Um, we're going to do this because in case I wanted to put our blog feed on another page, I want to be able to grab this little snippet very easily and it doesn't convolute the rest of my code. So uh, I would go and create add new snippet and type in the word uh, blog. Uh, I've already got one in here so I'm going to go blog 2 uh, just so you can see me create it from the beginning. So we'll create that snippet, and it'll give us our, uh, our empty page. Now the codes that we're going to need to actually pull the blog information, um, I've got saved over here. And I'm going to copy these over, and we will go through it line by line. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to um, set up my div that I'm going to use for this page. Uh, because I want a place that it's going to sit. So if I go back over here to my home page and I inspect this element, again using Firebug or you can use the Chrome Inspector or there's now one in Firefox now that's pretty good actually. Um, I can go in and I can see that under the header there's a div class called Content Wrapper and this is where all my stuff sits. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually chuck in another uh, div called uh, column main right above it that has the same property so they actually stack on each other but it holds all of the blog items together. So we'll flip back over here to the admin side so we can see that I've started off and I've created my div uh, column main uh, with a class of content and I've closed it off and I've given myself a little comment tag to know that it's closed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to start to pull from that blog array. So um, we do a little for statement. So this is a loop statement that we create. So for article in blog.news.articles. So news is actually the name of the blog that I'm using. Blog is actually saying it's from blogs. You can see it's plural. Don't forget to make sure it's plural. Um, and you want articles because you want all of them. And then I want to limit it to the top five. Uh, there's another tutorial that shows you how to actually add the pagination to the bottom of it. For the purpose of this one, we're only going to show how to show the top five results because people can always go to your blog if they want to actually read more. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the liquid template here um, tag, which actually pulls the information. So we're going to grab article excerpt or content. And now this excerpt or content, that's the actual content you want for your blog. And then we're going to end the statement here by going end for. Uh, we'll save that and that will create our little snippet. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to actually add it into our template. So I'm going to flip over here to our index te uh, liquid template and because I only want it on the home page so we go to index I'm going to slide on down here until I find uh, my content main um, div, where is it here? Uh, oh right, sorry, it starts at the top. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually chuck um, my item in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include my snippet. So by doing that I use the liquid uh, money sign include and then I write the name which is blog2 and then we close it and we hit save. And that should grab the snippet that we've created put it on the index page, and then we will go back here and refresh it. We should get all the content that we're looking for for our homepage. 